pa rin natin dito sa Kababayan Today si Marissa Arroy, the director and filmmaker of Delano Manongs. Marissa, you were talking to us about growing up Filipino in Bakersfield and uh, this whole filmmaking path was... Was this always something you wanted to do ever since? I, it was. I mean, I remember in fifth grade, uh, hanging out with my friends and pretending to like uh, get an Oscar and, and what our acceptance speech was uh, and and making videos with, with friends of ours, like talk shows like this, right. <laughs> where we would pretend to be uh, interviewing each other and stuff. So yeah, it was always somewhere we're there that where I wanted to make films. Well, guess what? You are able to make films films for social change because you're educating us what it means um, to be Filipino and our history and that's a very very important tool cinema uh, to be able to to tell us about our history obviously it's October and uh, it's Filipino history month Filipino American history month so let's talk about Delano Manong's talk to us about how this film got made was this something that you were commissioned to do or was it something that you just went ahead and 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 did and then later got picked up we went ahead and did it me and my husband my husband is the producer of it we it's an independent independently made uh, production. So, you, so this is what we call labor of love. The labor of love, yeah, that's taken five years to make. Even though it's a short documentary, it's just, it, it's been a lot of fundraising and researching uh, all these different archives, getting things from the community, reading all the things that are possible, interviewing people, trying to figure out who could be on the program, who can't. Um, all of these things to come and, and make um, this, this program, which Really, the essence of it, I want the younger generations of Filipino Americans to be able to see this and have a sense of their identity and their history. It's important to understand what our forefathers went through, the struggle. And uh, Larry Itulong is uh, very impressive. Uh, I watched the documentary, Delano Manongs, and we've been screening this all over this month especially. How long ago was this film finally completed? We just finished the beginning of this year, around March, April, and we uh, it, it debuted up in San Francisco at the Cam Fest, the film festival up there, which is an Asian American film festival, and it was the most gratifying, satisfying screening to be there with them. Johnny Itliang, Larry Itliang's son was there, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of the student activists of the time in the 60s were there, and also uh, sons and daughters of the Manungs were there. So it was just a big discussion, group discussion uh, about how, how much this history meant to everyone. I'm getting a little uh, emotional because I can really feel your passion to tell this story. And um, it's inspiring to be able to inspire other people through your work. And they inspire me. These, the, the people who come to the screenings, they have so many stories to tell about their, 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 their fathers and the, and the uncles that they knew at the time. In fact, in San Jose, we recently screened there. There were two two people. One was a son, and one was a daughter of the Manungs. They never knew their fathers because their fathers had been that were in their 80s, 70s, and 80s when they had these children, and so they had died when they were just little kids. So for both of them, it was the first time they learned something about the history of their fathers, in in the film, and that to me was the most satisfying thing to ever hear. Larry Itilong. Why did you want to focus on him specifically? Obviously, he's a very important man, but he's also a character. He's a, an extremely interesting character. Mm -hmm. His, I think when I first saw the pictures of him, it was when I sort of fell in love with the Im this image of this man. He, um, he's missing three fingers. He always had a cigar in his mouth. And he always looked really tough. Sometimes he'd have a cowboy hat, sometimes he has sunglasses on. So you're just wondering, who is this man? And then to find out that he was the one who actually started this famous strike in Delano, California in 1965 and became the co-director of the United Farm Workers Union. That was huge news. And so just it really inspired me to learn more about him and to find out what a great person he was, what a great leader, how very powerful he was too. 
Well, we have an exclusive here on Kababayan today. I want to thank you so much for trusting us and for allowing us. We're going to be showing you just a short teaser, a five-minute clip of the film Delano Manong's that just got completed earlier this year. It took five years. It was a labor of love from our director. Uh, what are the challenges in being a documentary filmmaker? Well, you don't have a nine to five job, right? So it's financially you're up and down. And especially when you're making a film like this, where you're trying to both live and pay your rent and everything, mm. but also you're trying to fundraise for this film and make sure it gets done and, and pay for the post production and the, all the licensing involved for yes, the archival. Yes, it archival. takes time. It takes a lot of energy. Yeah. How can we as Filipinos help you make more of these films? Well, I think if you uh, become, if you like Delano Manung, you can go to Facebook and mm -hmm. like it there. You can follow us on Twitter. You can go to the delanomanungs.com website and sign up for the email list. And I will let you know the next time I do something else and the next project. And it, and it's really interesting. I feel like a lot of the people who just were interested in this history became funders of the documentary and are now just champions of my work. And, and I feel it. I feel the love from the community. And it's, it's really wonderful. Well, add me to your fan base because I just want to say thank you so much. When we return here on Kababayan today, we're going to get to see an exclusive sneak peek of Delano Manos. Don't go away.